Did you not get my message? I'm so sorry. We didn't want you to find out this way. I knew it would come to this. I know how hard it must be to have someone fall out of love with you. I know. You are completely delusional. I'm gonna have the cops deal with your crazy ass. Wait, it Don't doesn't... Don't touch me. We can talk. I told you, don't touch me! Good to see Sevens having a string of episodes channeling classic Yu-Gi-Oh traits into their new designs. Onto the staff, we have Yuki Inaba as episode director, Hiroyuki Yamada as a storyboarder, with chief supervisor Isamu Fukushima, and under him we have Kaori Yoshikawa, Yuki Hishinuma, and Satoru Kusuda. Yuki Inaba is yet another new addition to Sevens' episode director lineup, hailing from Studio Palette, bringing a level of comedy yet not seen in Sevens with the unique art choices, whether it's Kaizo and Sebastian's silly squabble or Ranze's inner thoughts as she thinks fondly of Yuga in this cute storybook form. The comedy in this episode rarely misses. Fukushima's supervision in this episode seems to be on the lighter side this week. To the point that I couldn't tell who the chief supervisor for this episode was due to all the unfamiliar drawings during the preview for last week's episode, instead letting the other supervisors' art shine through. While there are no impressive highlights in this episode to speak of, there is, I think, another Yu-Gi-Oh! veteran who's returned to Yu-Gi-Oh! Shinichiro Minami who technically was a supervisor on 7th before, all the way back on episode 12, though none of his traits were actually visible in that episode. He might also be the mystery Canada School animator from episode 19, as the effects in the episode are pretty much identical. Minami has been a freelance animation supervisor for Yu-Gi-Oh! back since Duel Monsters episode 201, only participating only not participating in GX and Brains. His classic traits, particularly on Duel Monsters and 5Ds, are his use of thick lines, narrow eyes, and of course, the facial lines, which he'd use more prominently than the other supervisors, even on mobs, i.e. people in crowds and background characters. His supervisions, while really good, would be lacking in certain shots, almost as if they weren't finished. Skipping to Zexel, he'd abandoned his facial lines completely, also suffering from a few quality control issues here and there. Moving on to Arc 5, it's clear that here his supervision have some of the weakest art on the series, even having Kenichihara clean up some of his art in places. His episodes were never completely polished, but it seemed that he reached a new low at this point. But moving on to present day on 7s, and it seems that he's now looking back to form as he was in 5Ds. Facial lines and all. Although there are a few odd drawings here and there, it's good to see him channeling his old traits again. Now as exciting as it is to think that this is him, I'm still only 80% sure that this is his work. As the similarities are way too uncanny. But the fact that he has no credit at all on this episode does put holes in my guess. Whatever the case, I do hope he returns on future episodes, as his art is something a lot of fans really do appreciate. Now even through my best attempts, I can't seem to figure out who is responsible for the cute storybook illustrations in Ranze's flashback. I do know that they're definitely from Studio Palette. Unfortunately, that's pretty much it for this episode. 
So with that, see you in the next video. Hey,